I'm Hamish, I'm a, I'm a blacksmith, I'm a, a metal sculptor, I do a bit of writing, I work with trees and I work with the land. It's just so important that, that people realise that they, they do have a, a direct communication through the consciousness with the, with the planet and they can affect profoundly the, the, the future of the planet and the communication with the planet and the care for the planet by their, their thought and their, their concern for its being. I really wanted to set up Perla Community because of a whole series of events that happened um, leading towards a, an enormous dissatisfaction with the way the world was, was uh, going on at the moment. You can't actually tilt at well-established systems and, and the only way to get around them was to provide an alternative which was better. And it seems to be a, a, a huge step, but it's the only logical one that I can see that was going to work. Because if enough people get together, they have a loud enough voice to make themselves heard. We were talking about it with, with lots of friends and we had this meeting at, at, uh, down at the Seed and a number of people, uh, different people come up every, every six weeks and we, we tune in with the earth and we, we celebrate the cycles of the earth. And this particular evening, it was pouring with rain, only five people turned up. So there were five of us at the meeting and there are frequently 20 or more. So we sat um, in a small group and uh, listened to some beautiful music. Gary Merrill was, was sitting in the back there and he suddenly looked up and he said, Everybody, every human being has the right to live in peace, but we'll never get that peace until we claim the right. I'd say the parallel community is a platform for people who are no longer happy with being ignored. The idea of the parallel community was in a sense looking at what people can get together to do. People who um, feel isolated, who feel that they're not get getting anywhere, that they are fighting a battle on their own, not realising that there are millions of us all in the world and we just need to connect. The par parallel community is an empowerment or a voice for empowerment. And to show people that they're not alone, that one person working in their village or their town or their community may be doing exactly the same as another group in another village or town or community, but not knowing it. Try and get all of these people together by means of a website so they have a contact, they know, what, they know what's happening in their, their local patch, they know what's happening in the next patch. And we want to encourage some sort of community way of thinking, which says, okay, how does this, this uh, we can't sort the global problem out at the moment. How do we sort our local problem out? And if we have a local problem, is it the same as the community next door? If we have a solution to our particular problem, can we help that community? And it starts in a very small way with individual people. The parallel communities emblem is almost like a bridge going over a river that we are going to just bridge over and the rest can do what they like but um, we will walk over the bridge and try and live and um, give an example that there is another way. I think somehow we need to find new structures, new ways of going on which perhaps are outside politics, they're outside religion they're outside the institutions that we now have. So that we can find different ways of doing it to change the energy of the present systems that we're all thinking are outmoded now. People can come in with their ideas and even if we don't kind of have that on our agenda, we will know where we can put that person with that idea, connect them up to somebody else so that we form like a, a connector. Already we have 40 connectors from all over the world, um, from Britain to Europe, Switzerland, Amsterdam, Germany, uh, to Australia, South Africa, America. It's quite remarkable, um, you know, word of mouth only really. One person tells another person tells another person and they are inspired to join in. I think it's helping the world, to, people to live together more um, accepting and um, appreciative of other people so that we just live in a more peaceful way. We want to become a centre of, of knowledge and, and uh, ways of, of moving our community spirit forward. The essence is to, to get people back to doing practical things. Practical things, not necessarily in the terms of, of making things, but practical uh, living with your neighbours. 
Once we join up and get maybe a few thousand, maybe a few hundred thousand, but we're looking actually for millions of people. And we're not going to march with placards and, and things like that. We're going to quietly say to the politicians, wonderful, 10 million people would like this to happen. Listen to us. Instead of being told this and this is going to happen, it would give us a voice to discuss it. And maybe we might learn that we are wrong on some things. Um, but it's the ideas of not having a voice. I think we will become a significant voice that the government will have to take notice of. Now, whether they regard it as um, a pain in their derriere is something they have to decide. They will know through our web that tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of people are thinking this particular way. And it must influence the, the um, decision-making process. Every single thing we do, there's a reaction for every action. You become part of what you're around. You can't help that. And everything we do, everything, all of us do, is completely interconnected, negative or positive. So it might as well be positive. Doing nothing, I don't think, is really an option anymore. That is another way of living. Nature around us is alive and we can make a difference. But there is a huge amount of humour in the universe. And the humour and the, and the laughter and the joy is being crushed out of us because you can't control people who are laughing. It's time we, we just, just shook our heads and, and got out of this and, and said, OK, what are we going to do about it? So join Powell Community.